it's Loxandra and today is finally the day that a project that I started a month ago that was inspired by Petri Lou Choose What You Have. I'm starting it today. Um, if you remember correctly, uh, it was the Mac face charts. I have a bunch of them. I numbered them. Right now I'm like a 1 through 123. So basically I rate when you, um, after you rate and subscribe, go down to the comment section and choose a number and that's the next one I'll do. I had a viewer request for number 90 which is this one right here. I don't know what collection this is from um, because I purposely did not save the collection that was um, it was from because I just basically wanted to use what I have for the face chart. So I've already prepped and primed my face. I actually used my airbrush system today to do that. And the next thing we are going to do is do our eyes. Okay, what I'm going to end up doing, and I sort of already done it to this eye, is I'm going to take that cashmere cream, this is color right here, and I'm going to put it on the center part of my eye and the eyebrow bone. So I'm going to do that over to this eye. And I'm just basically concentrating on the center. I'm not concentrating on the inner corners or anything. Okay. So we're done with that. The next color I'm going to take is the, I don't want it like too dark. So I'm going to take the antique pewter, which is this color right here, and do the outer V and the inner corner and a little bit underneath the eye. Okay, I'm actually using three brushes for this look. I'm using this brush right here, and a fluffy brush, and a crease brush. Because um, what I've been doing is I go in and kind of map out the area that I want with this flat brush right here. I'm just mapping out the area and then I'm going in with my crease brush kind of mapping it out some more. Don't mind my dogs in the background, they're playing. And I'm just, you can see that, Let's see if I can zoom in here. I'm just getting in the corners. I'm not doing much of anything else. And then I'm getting underneath the eye. Let me finish this one up. And then I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and do my blending. And I'm picking up a little bit of the product with the fluffy brush, but not much. And I'm just blending it. Mostly just blending. Sorry about that, you guys. Blending. So I'm gonna just basically blending that in. To add a little bit more dimension because it is black underneath, but I don't want it too stark, is I'm just gonna take this little brush right here and just kind of go in with the Twilight Ash, which is the black right here, and just kind of go um, under my eyelashes right here just a little bit to add some dimension and a little bit in the corner. Not much. 
I don't want it to overpower. So as you can see, I'm just lightly, lightly going in. And then I'm going to blend that again. I'm done blending, but I just want to go through my highlights again and just do some more highlighting. Just kind of clean up some of my highlights. So, like so. And don't be afraid of using another color because, like I said before, this is all used. What you have, um, totally inspired by Petri Lude. But I'm just using MAC face charts. I think he was uh, using some of his own looks. The next thing I'm going to do is clean up my brows. And I'm just taking a spoolie here and just kind of going in and shaping the brows. And the brows are fairly dark on this, and I need to sharpen that, so I'm going to use a use something else here. I'm just using a powder. Um, this is some powder I bought in the States in Sally's. I've had it for a while now. And I'm just going to go in and fill in my brows and just shape them a little. Then shaping my brows. I'm done shaping my brows so what I'm going to go in and next is take an eyeliner and I'm going to take a black. I had pulled out the brown but I wanted a black and I am going to tight line which is lining the in, this inner part right here of your eye and the water line. Now I'm going to do this off camera for the fact that I have to look up really close to my mirror and I can't quite show you in the camera. So Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is my lips, and I'm using my brand of lipstick that I sell on, on kissmeforever.com, and it's kiss uh, me and then four as in the number four ever.com. I have teamed up with um, Deb from MUA in the Making on this lipstick, and it's a lip scent, and I'm going to be using pink champagne and then the glossy. So I'm going to show you the application here. Shortly, I'm going to zoom up on my lips. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. Is I'm actually doing the application by looking at my viewfinder and my camera because this was the best setup that I could do. Is first you're going to take um, your product, and I'm using Pink Champagne. It's a lip sense product, and you can get it on my website, which I will put on the sidebar, or you can get it also from MUA in the Making. So I'm going to go in through the outer corner and work my way down. You don't go back and forth. You just kind of do it in one sweeping motion. Okay, and you're going to let the first layer dry, and then do it again, and you're going to do this three times. Okay, I've added my other layers, and they're now dry, so I'm going to apply the lip gloss, which is the glossy, for the camera to, okay, it's the glossy gloss, and you just apply it like any normal lip gloss. And this stuff will not come off. You can see. I have just the gloss on there and that's it. And the gloss is actually shea butter. So it moisturizes lips really, really well. I love this stuff and that's the reason why I sell it. So, as you can tell, the look is complete now.